Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Monday, February 12th, 2018. Happy Valentine's this week. Hope you're doing something special for your loved one. Um, I have been, my, my, I'm still sick with this cough and this cold, so pardon me for my my voice. It's uh, probably not as strong as it needs to be, and hopefully you can understand everything I say. I'm still kind of congested and whatnot. But anyways, let's get down to business. Um, I, we have the new Jupiter X, Titan Jupiter XL up on the website. Uh, that chair, and I need to, I think I mentioned at some point, I think I did because I got some uh, feedback on this, uh, that the Jupiter XL does not have calf rollers. I was on the, I think I mentioned it somewhere that it does have calf rollers, but I have been told that it does not have calf rollers. So if I did say that in a previous broadcast, I apologize. Um, and no, no intent to uh, mislead, but uh, I think, uh, um, the information I well I can't even remember I'm not, I, I can't even remember what what the, the 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 situation was but anyways just want you to know that the Jupiter XL which is a Titan chair it's an L track a 3D L track that that can handle people up to six six and it's only thirty nine ninety five for a three D L track that's inexpensive that's the most inexpensive three D L track that we carry and anyways this chair <coughs> it's um, it's a good bang for the buck. Uh, it the 3D feature is a little different. It does not have a manual 3D adjustment feature where you can incrementally in increase the depth of the rollers or pull them back incrementally. Uh, there are different programs. Some programs have the the, the retracted uh, uh, rollers. The other one, uh, some programs have the fully deployed rollers into the back. Um, and so you, it's not real. It's not a. It's not. It's 3D, but it's a little different from the typical one where you have a button that incrementally uh, increases the depth or decreases the depth of the roller so just so you know but the uh, Jupiter X XL is designed for a bigger body it can still handle a smaller body apparently it can fit people uh, just under five feet so uh, but a very versatile chair as far as in terms of what it can handle in height and uh, it also seems to have all the features you'd want in a, in a, in a 3d L track including foot rollers and airbags galore and um, uh, it's 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 a good it's a good good bang for the buck um, also, the Cozia Chi, uh, which is the, uh, the the fancy chair from Cozia, which has a very sophisticated scanning system that kind of uh, is dynamic as the as the as the chair session goes on. But this chair used to be priced at seventy nine ninety or sorry ninety nine ninety five or ninety nine ninety nine. Now it's down to seventy nine ninety nine. Uh, they have uh, changed the pricing, so it's uh, quite a bit more in line with what a lot of the other uh, high priced chairs are. They have also, and I mentioned this before, they've also redesigned. The, the the chair in terms of how it can be assembled before it was fully assembled and it was difficult to fit through some doors because the box was 36 inch wide 36 inches wide and a typical doorway is 32 inches and in the house in a house sometimes the door the, the width is even less but now they've, uh, they've they've redesigned it so it can be packed into three different boxes which is pretty typical of, of the bigger chairs nowadays <coughs> And so that chair will fit into a typical or a more typical uh, passageway in homes. So they've dropped the price as well. So that's kind of interesting for the Cozia Chi, which is a very, very good chair. Uh, Ogawa have their Valentine's Day sale, which is basically a continuation of their New Year's sale. So uh, you can continue to get, uh, I think, $1,500 off on the Smart 3D, $200 bucks off on the Touch 3D. And speaking of the, the Touch and the, and, the, and the Smart 3D, I wrote a review, or, or not a review, but a kind of a comparative review on my blog last week that talks about the differences between the Touch 3D and the, and the Smart 3D chairs from Ogawa. The Smart 3D, basically, uh, the main difference is that that chair had a Samsung tablet that came with the chair. And that became your remote control. You would download an app from uh, from uh, from off you know off the the Droid uh, store uh, app store, and, uh, and then you would download the app from Ogawa, and then you could f uh, operate the chair from that app. Well. 
they came up with the Touch 3D, which is a, a wire-connected remote, because uh, we found that uh, in some instances where the Wi-Fi was not steady or not consistent, sometimes the chair, the 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 the, the, the tablet would lose connection, uh, the, the the Bluetooth connection with the uh, with the chair, and so you couldn't operate the, the chair from the remote control or from the tablet. You'd have to use some smart keys on the side of the ch on the chair arm handle, but it was not a, a it wasn't a, a full uh, the, the, those keys did not allow full functionality of the chair as the app did. So <clears throat> that chair, they, they kind of redesigned. It looks, I mean, it looks exactly the same, but they redesigned the, 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 the programming. So now it has a wired remote. It has less programs, <coughs> nine instead of 17, and you can't download up, updates and, and up, upgrades to the programming like you could on the Smart 3D. So that, those are the primary differences, but you can take a look at that on my blog if you'd like to get into more detail on the differences between those two chairs. Uh, they're both good, well-priced chairs for the money. Uh, for what you get for the money is, 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 is a, it's a good bang for the buck, especially with these sales on right now. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, we have the pre-owned, the pre our pre-owned directory now, and I, I've mentioned this before, that after Christmas, which is the busiest time of the year for us, of course, our, our returns in increase as well. And uh, if you go on our website and you go to the current deals, the current deals uh, option on the navigation bar across the top, you'll see the pre-owned directory is one of the links. And right now we have a zero G or sorry, a zero, yeah, zero G 5.0 bone colored chair from Human Touch. It's regularly twenty nine ninety nine. We have that one on for nineteen ninety nine. It's only a couple months old. Uh, perfect shape. <coughs> and by the way, when these chairs come back to us, we I have my delivery guy in Southern California go through them and make sure everything's right and make sure the chair is packaged right make sure that there's no damage to the chair so these chairs have been uh, you know uh, checked they've been um, what do you call it on a when they sell used cars it's kind of like a certified factory certified well these are showroom certified chairs we also have a black Loraco iRobotic 7 regularly priced as you know for this American made chair 8490 we sell the we're selling the used one for 6490 it is also two months old also in excellent condition but uh, you know when we have inventory we got to get rid of it so we, we, we sell them for a very good price and I believe we have a Novo coming back a Novo X I think it's a brown one uh, and that one will be selling for $59.99 when it's on the website but just keep an eye on the on the pre-owned directory they usually go pretty fast we just got these ones up on the weekend uh, if you're interested in it uh, in them, go ahead and order them right away if we don't have that Novo up we don't have it up on the website yet but if you want it before we do just call me and uh, or call us and we can we can get that chair to you uh, we can get your order taken for that chair so anyways pre-owned directory is a good way to save some money on a virtually new chair which still has all the warranty intact by the way uh, we don't do white glove service on the on the on the uh, on the pre-owned chairs but we do offer the continued you know the lifetime labor warranty that we have there's there's no returns on them the, the, you know when you buy it you get it and that's yours uh, and um, and uh, the, the, the factory warranty, the remaining you know, five years or three years or whatever, is, or one year, depending on the chair, is still intact. So anyways, it's, it's really a great way to save some money. Um, and, and remember, when you buy a massage chair and you're buying a used one, unless you're buying it from an authorized dealer, the warranty will not transfer. So these are chairs that have been returned to us, the authorized dealer, and we resell them. The warranty, is, the factory warranty, is still intact. Uh, if you're buying privately through a you know a Craigslist or other some kind of uh, you know neighborly sale or whatever, uh, the warranty will not transfer. So just be aware of that. Um, <clears throat> I, we, we're up to $41,375 on uh, our Make-A-Wish donations, uh, which is phenomenal. I couldn't be happier. And I still haven't included the December uh, donation, which should be about... Oh, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars more. And uh, but, anyways, I just wanted to thank you because you know it's we don't say this, we don't have this verbiage on the website because we're not allowed to. But uh, a portion of every sale that that we every chair that we sell, we've been doing this for years. I think for the last five years, uh, goes to the Make a Wish Foundation. 
And so uh, we're just extremely grateful for people who trust us with their business because uh, we get, not only do we give you a great chair and at, at, at the best price and with the best warranties, etc., but you, we also get to give to the Make-A-Wish Foundation as a result of your purchase from us. So thank you very, very kindly for that. Um, I'm a big advocate of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I just love who, what they represent and, and the, the people who get get the benefit of their of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is kids. And I've got six of my own and five grandkids, and I just uh, love kids. And I've got a daughter with diabetes. And so I'm a little sensitive to the health health issues of children, and uh, but thank you for donating uh, or buying a chair from us so that we can donate in, uh, uh, a portion of that sale to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Okay, <clears throat> my voice is almost gone, but I just want to talk about a, a couple things uh, regarding delivery and sh uh, re re delivery and return delivery uh, shipping uh, issues. And these come from our experience with customers, and and these uh, don't just apply to us. But they apply to anybody uh, that you're uh, if you buy a chair from anybody these are things that you'll want to take note of number one is when you get your chair from the delivery company count the number of boxes especially if it's not a white glove delivery if it's regular curbside delivery which most people get uh, they will give you a, a, a delivery receipt that they want you to sign and you make sure that when they drop off that box that, that those boxes or that chair that if it says look on the look on this on the form if the form says three boxes make sure you got three boxes uh, if it says two boxes make sure you've got two boxes if it says one box make sure you don't have two boxes or three boxes we have a, we had a customer in Florida that bought a chair and they were supposed to be four boxes uh, and, I, uh, and there was one box missing, but she just thought there was all the boxes were there because there were three boxes. And and we never we don't you know every chair is different. We don't tell people you know expect this many boxes. Maybe we need to do that, but we don't typically do that. So you need to look at the the form the, the form that comes from the shipping company from the massage chair company and see what how, what it says. If it says three boxes, make sure you've got three boxes. Do not sign off until you have seen three boxes or you've got three boxes also <clears throat> If there is damage to the box, even if it looks like it's minor damage, make a mention of that on that sheet, on that delivery receipt. Say damage to you know bottom left corner, and take a picture of it. And also take a picture of the receipt. And once the guy once the guy has filled it in and and you sign off on it, then take a picture of it. Sometimes if a chair comes and there's damage to the chair, it's way easier just to have that part replaced than it is to decline shipment and return the chair. Go ahead and set up the chair. If there's an armrest that has some damage to it, or, or 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 something's wrong with the chair, you know, call the person that sold you the chair, and then have them find out if the massage chair company wants you to refuse delivery on it. But if there is any kind of damage to the chair or to the box, make sure that you annotate that on the uh, on that delivery receipt, and then take a picture of the damage. Take a picture of the delivery receipt that shows that you that information's on there. Uh, and keep that, in, you know, in case you need that for for a record uh, with the shipping company or with the massage chair company once that damage has been reported. So that is a very, very good tip. I would follow it if I were you. Also, speaking of taking pictures, if you are returning a chair to us or to whomever, make sure that you take pictures of the chair before it ships, all kinds of pictures, all because what might happen, and, and, and I'm assuming that everybody is honest out there and they're not going to try to rip anybody off, but you know, for us, when you re return a chair to us and there's damage to the chair and it's and it's not caused by the shipping company, um, or even if it is caused by the shipping company, we you know, the, well, no, if it's not caused by the shipping company, you're responsible for the repair of that damage. <laughs> If it's caused by the shipping company, the shipping company is responsible for that. Either way, take pictures of your chair before you ship it. If it's in perfect condition, make sure that that is documented on on film or on digital, you know, prints. Because if you know, let's say a chair comes to us and. <coughs> 
and, and we see that there's some damage to the chair and, and it's not shipping damage, uh, we will notify you that there's been damage to the chair and that you will be responsible for the repair of that damage if it's not covered under warranty. Well, if you've got video or, video or um, still photo record of that chair and it's in perfect shape and we see that there's damage after we received it and then when it left your place it was in perfect shape, well then we know that it was a shipping problem. Something happened en route to the chair coming back to us and so then we know we have to go off to the shipping company to take care of the costs. So anyways, take pictures uh, because whether it's us or whoever else you buy the chair from, if you return a chair and they claim that there's a problem with the chair and it's your fault, um, you, you, you better have some documentation that, it, that the chair was fine when it left. Now if there's a functional problem with the chair uh, and they get the chair or we get the chair, you know the warranty will usually cover that. So I'm not too concerned about that, but if it's damage to the chair itself, like uh, you know, a, a scratch or a scrape or a piece missing or something, uh, that is something that, that, that falls on the shoulders of either the, the customer or the delivery company. And if you've proven that everything was just just dandy when the chair left your, your place, well then it's not on your shoulders. Okay, also, <laughs> keep all the packaging uh, for your chair, and I would recommend this for anybody, uh, not just because you're buying from us. Any chair you buy, whether it's from us or any other retailer, <laughs> keep the packaging until you know for sure that you don't want to return it. Because if you do want to return it and you got rid of the packaging, well guess what? It's going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, if, it's, if it's shipped back in the original packaging, it's still going to cost you. It doesn't cost you if you buy from us because we have free shipping. And that is that applies to everybody. And there's no back billing for the original shipping, which some companies do as well. But your chair is, you know, return shipping is completely free unless it's purchased with Synchrony Bank. Then we've got to deduct processing fees. But uh, sometimes when a, a, a people get their chair, they're so excited about it, they don't think about it. <coughs> the white glove company takes off with the, with the packaging, which is what they're supposed to do. Uh, or if you got it, you already, you've already broken down the boxes and put it in the garbage can, and then the, the garbage man comes and picks it up, and a week later you decide, I don't want this chair. Well, guess what? You're going to have to get that chair packaged up and, ship, and get ready for shipping back to, to the massage chair company. In our case, you have to pack it up and have it ready uh, for us to come pick it up for you. But if you have no packaging, uh, then you're in a, then there's a problem because number one, the, the, the chair is going to be uh, probably wrapped up in blankets and and that shipping saran wrap that you can get at Costco or Walmart or not Costco but Home Depot or Walmart or or, or Harbor Freight, and you're and, and you're gonna have you should put it on a pallet because that chair is going to be cost, more costly because it's not packaged right, and there's a greater possibility for damage. Now if you if you don't package that chair right and it's just wrapped up in plastic and a blanket and it's damaged in shipping, that does fall on your shoulders because it's not in the original packaging. So uh, just really be careful with that. I've seen people get burned with that and, and uh, it's just the best word of advice I can give you is keep the packaging until you know for sure you're going to keep that chair. And if it's a white glove delivery, they are th their job is to take the packaging away. That's part of the beauty of white glove delivery. You don't have to deal with the garbage after. And those, there's a lot of packing material. But if you're not sure you're going to keep that chair, keep the packaging. You can put it in your garage or in a storage shed or whatever. Just keep that packaging so you got it in case you want to return the chair. And then once you know for sure you don't want to return it, chuck it all away. And one last thing as far as shipping and return shipping goes, if you want to return your chair, and here's the problem, <coughs> you're, excuse me, <coughs> you're responsible for getting that chair packed up and shipping it back, or getting it ready for pickup to ship back. At least with us. Uh, other companies may say, you know, you're, you're on your own. You call UPS Freight and arrange for pickup and delivery back to us or whatever. We don't do it that way. We'll arrange your shipping whether you pay for it or not. Whether, whether there's a component that you pay for or not. And remember, if you, oh, and as far as we go, if you do not have the chair packed up in the original packaging, then you will be responsible for 50% of the return shipping because the costs are so high and uh, we don't want to bear that the full cost of uh, shipping if it's you know if the packaging was not kept but 
here's the problem. Sometimes, you know, an, an elderly couple or an elderly man or an elderly woman purchase a chair and the chair comes and gets set up nicely for them. And, uh, and even if they do keep the packaging, whether they keep the packaging or not, but I, of course, keep the packaging um, and they decide they want to return it. You know, getting the chair ready to return to us is on you. You have to make sure you get that chair packaged up. A couple of things I would strongly encourage you do to do if you're if there's a possibility of you return a chair, get the name and phone number of the company that delivered the chair to you, uh, especially the white glove agent, because if you want to bring that chair back, you're going to have to get that chair packaged up, and the best people to do it would be the people that assembled it for you in the first place. So get their name and phone number, and if you want to return the chair, call them and say, hey, I've got the boxes and the packaging here. I just need you guys to come and package it up and get it ready for return shipping. It'll cost, but it'll be. It'll, it'll take the burden off your hands of having to, to package up the chair. That's the first piece of advice I would give you. The second piece of advice I would give you is um, if you if you had regular curbside delivery, they may not have the, they may not have the, the manpower or the wherewithal to package up a chair. The white glove agent does, of course, because they pack it, they assemble the chair. They can take it apart again and package it up. But if you have regular curbside delivery, uh, you may be stuck for finding someone to or, or for getting the chair assembled. Most people do it on their own. But what happens if you're too old and you can't lift the chair and you can't move it in the box, which is very real concern? Uh, then I would recommend googling furniture movers in your area. Go online, go to Google, type in, or Yahoo, or whatever your search engine is, and type in uh, furniture packing or furniture moving. And I've done this for customers before, and there a whole list of companies will come up, and you can just start calling and saying, hey, I've got a chair, needs packaging up, can you do this for me, and get it ready for shipping, and they'll strap it. Oh, and I'll talk about that in a minute, too. But that's, that, that, is, uh, that would be the best way to go about doing it. So there are some tips, and that, I was just talking about the strapping. Here's another tip for you. If you're packaging up your chair and it's in the original packaging, get some straps from, again, Home Depot or Walmart or Harbor Freight or whatever your local store is. Get some of those cinch straps where you can wrap it around the chair and cinch up the big box. The smaller boxes usually you can just do with tape, uh, like with some packing tape. But with those big boxes, if you don't, that chair may come apart in delivery or in shipment and you will be responsible for that. You are responsible for making that, that chair ship worthy. And you don't necessarily have to strap it to the, to the pallet, even though that would help, but you want to strap that box shut with those cinch straps or something to keep it sealed up because you don't want it to be damaged on the way back or else you'll be, you'll, you'll, you'll be on the line for it. So anyways, there's some great tips. Uh, take them for what they're worth. Uh, uh, anyways, those are just life lessons learned in the massage chair industry <laughs> through years of dealing with customers who have had all these things come up. And if you look at our return policy uh, and our exchange policy, it's pretty specific. Like there's a lot of points in there. And the reason we do that is because those are all questions that customers have come up with or situations that we, we've seen come up with where uh, we had to, you know, we had to put the, the, those stipulations in there to protect us and to protect the customer. So anyways, if you have any questions, give me a call on anything. And you can reach me at 888-259-5380. Um, I am always available. And if I'm not here and you want, you can still talk to Michael or Dom or anybody at the showroom, uh, I would be happy to visit with you. Anyways, I'm Dr. Alan Weiger from MassageChairRelief.com. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for tolerating my ridiculous uh, lost voice still. Hopefully in two weeks from now, it'll be better. But um, uh, if you found the video helpful, please feel free to thumbs up, like us on YouTube. And of course, uh, help us spread the word about massage chairs by sharing this video on your uh, you know, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, LinkedIn. We just appreciate you helping us spread the word. And I uh, hope you have a magnificent day. And I will talk to you again in two weeks. Bye-bye.